So in the last episode of this tutorial series, we built out the homepage component. Now in this homepage component, we effectively advertised what our application has to offer. Now that we've advertised what we have to offer, it's now time to start working on the profile system and how people can start to interact with their application and sign up for our application. Now, thankfully, integration with Auth0 is incredibly simple for a React.js application and it doesn't require all that much code. Now, we're going to start off by navigating into the terminal and we're going to install the Auth0 library for React and we're going to do that using npm install auth0 auth0 react. So I'm going to assume that you've already set up an Auth0 account and within that you've already set up an application within that account. Now with that in place, we'll then have the client ID and the domain that we'll be configuring our Auth0 integration with. So we're going to start off by opening up the app.js for our application and just at the top above where we import the components for React Router, we're going to do import Auth0 provider Auth0 provider from Auth0, Auth0 React like so. Now we're then going to use this component and we're going to effectively wrap our application within this component. So Auth0 provider and we're going to take this end tag for the component and append it just after the end router tag. I'm going to indent that and then within the element I'm going to add a couple of config elements. So I'm going to do domain which is going to equal tutorial edge tutorial edge, hold that, tutorial edge dot eu dot zero dot com and then the client ID which can be exposed to clients without any bother is going to be this string here and then finally I'm going to set the redirect URI um, which is going to be window dot location dot origin. Perfect. So with this configured, there's not much material change to the way our application behaves, but we can now start implementing things like the sign up component, the profile component, and the logout component. So let's take a bash at creating the sign up component first of all, as that's going to be the main entry point to our application. So I'm going to create a new component and I'm going to call it sign up, sign up, not sign up and signup.js like so. Now within this I'm going to import react from react and I'm then going to import use auth from auth0, auth0 react. Now the reason I'm doing this you'll see why in just a second. So I'm going to define the component so function sign up and then at the top, I'm going to define a, a hook, which is going to allow us to log in with the redirect. Now, this is going to be const login with redirect. And we're going to use this hook of auth0, like so. Finally, below this, we're going to render some of the components that we're going to use to interact with this hook. So I'm going to do return div. And I'm going to put a header tag, h2 tag of sign up. Oops. And then I'm going to create a button. So button on click equals function login with redirect, like so. Perfect. And then within this, I'm just going to do login. And then finally, we need to remember to export the, the, the component. So export default sign up. Cool. And just quickly, whilst I notice it, it's actually use auth0. And then the function is going to be use auth0 auth as well. Cool. With that in place, we can then go into the app.js file. And then just below where we've imported the home component, we want to import this new sign up component from dot slash sign up slash sign up. Perfect. And then now that we've got this component in place, we want to then remove this h2 tag. Um, which was in the sign up root and we want to replace it with our sign up component. Now if we navigate into the application within the browser and we click the sign up button you can see that it's created this login button which we'll style in just a second but if I click on that it should then take us through the authentication flow with auth0 and I can then authorize 
and then I will be subsequently redirected back to my application. Perfect. So right now we're authenticated, but we can't actually see any of the details for our profile. So we're going to change that now by implementing the profile component. Now I'm going to navigate back into my application or the source code, and I'm going to create a new component called profile slash profile.js. And then within this, we are going to do another function component, which is simply going to display the um, user details. So import react from react once again. And then just like our sign up component, we want to import use auth zero from auth zero react. And then we want to define our function component, which is going to be profile. Then at the top, we want to retrieve the user or as authenticated. Authenticated, it's a big word. Use auth zero. And then we want to return what we're going to render within this component. So we're going to say is authenticated. Then we want to render out div. And we want to render out the image, so the profile image. So source is equal to user.profile. And the alt for this image is going to be the user.name. Close off the image tag, and then we're going to do a header to tag for the username. And then with that in place, close that out with a semicolon, and then we want to export this profile component. So export default profile. And then just like we've done with the signup component, we want to then navigate into app.js. And then just below our signup component, we want to import profile from profile slash profile. And then we want to delete this h2 tag and replace it with our profile component. Perfect. Now let's test to see if this works by navigating back into our application. And as you can see, it's not got any profile state just yet, but if we click the sign up button, log in, go through the authentication flow once again, and then navigate to profile. You can see, so it's not been able to find my user profile image. We can debug that in a second, but it has been able to find my username or my name for this account, which is Elliot Forbes. Perfect. So well, let's quickly debug why we're not able to see the profile image by adding a simple p tag. And then we're gonna do curly base json.stringify user. And this should print out the JSON object for our user, which it will do once we log back in. Once again. And as you can see here, it's printed out the JSON object. So we tried to print out the image or the user.image. It should actually be picture. So let's change that now. Or the user.profile, sorry. So let's change that to picture. Let's remove this and let's change it from name to nickname. so that we're using the nickname for the account as opposed to the real name. Cool, with that refreshed, let's sign up once again, log in, let's get up, and then let's click the right link this time. And as you can see, it is a picture of me in Amsterdam. Cool. So the final thing we want to do in this tutorial is to define the logout component. So I'm gonna right click on source, new file, logout slash logout.js. And then I'm going to define a new function component. So import react from react and then import use auth zero from auth zero react. Go. Cool. Once again, this is going to be a function component. So I'm going to do function logout. And then I'm going to define the hook that we're going to be using, which is going to be logout from oops equals use auth zero. And then I'm going to return the button, which you'll click in order to log out from the application. So this is going to be button. And log out. One word, two words, who cares? Then we're going to do on click. Equals 
equals log it, like so. Now, finally, with this defined, we then want to do export default logout. Cool. Now, we want people to be able to log out from their profile, so I'm going to open up the profile component, and then just below where I've imported use auth, I'm going to do import logout from dot dot slash to give it the relative link, and then logout. Cool. And then we're just going to render this component just below our nickname. So logout and close the tag. Perfect. Let's navigate back into the browser to see our application and we'll click the sign up flow again. Continue with GitHub. Open the profile page and you should see our logout button just down here, which we can then click. And that returns an OK. So we've been successfully logged out. Perfect. So that's all we're going to cover in this tutorial. In this tutorial, we've managed to successfully implement Auth0 into our application and allow users the means to register for an account within our application. Now, obviously the styling isn't quite right and people aren't going to be exactly blown away by how the page looks at present. So in the next tutorial, we're going to look at how we can improve that slightly. And we're also going to look at how we can persist user state across the re reloads of our application so that every time we make a change, we're not immediately logged out.